How's it going, everyone? We're here to check out my top skin picks for this week, and we're going to jump straight into it, starting with this really awesome bandana. Now, it is kind of designed to go with the night vision goggles, why, and that's why we're wearing them, because you can just see how it works. So, yeah, it's uh, you know, just a regular black bandana, but it's got this really cool glowy face on it. And uh, that brings me to the next point. We have to take a look at the glowy face, obviously. So, whenever... There we go. See, it goes right with the night vision goggles. How cool is that? It's it's definitely a very neat little bandana. Next up is a deer skull helmet or bone helmet, whatever you want to call it. We haven't had one for a while, and this one is absolutely creepy. He's put some like teeth in here uh, above like what would be normally the mouth for the deer, so it looks like some kind of other creature. I think this thing is really cool. And then if you check this out, it, it definitely looks like hair. Uh, it, it's very, very cool. Uh, I, I really like the extra like additions and changes to this. Uh, we haven't had a deer helmet for a while, so hey, if anything, uh, I think Vleck did a really good job on this, and I hope it has a chance. Next, we've got the Fury Gang hoodie and pants set for you, and uh, this thing's got kind of like a face in the chest, and it's just got all sorts of crazy bright colors. And uh, it says Fury Gang back here. You can see that pretty easily. It's got kind of like flames on the back of the elbow, and then you've got some other little designs going here and there. And uh, yeah, all together, it's just a really bright and uh, colorful set. Next up, we've got a continuation with the Blackout set, which got accepted last week with the gloves. And you can see here, they're mostly a black material, but then you've got a little bit of that kind of like graying camo going on. You can see that pretty well there. And then we've got the boots down here, and they look like they're made out of this, like, really nice and comfortable, like, stealth material. And then you've got, you can kind of see the gray and stuff in there, too. So it, it's not entirely black, it has a little detail to it. You can see it pretty well if we look this direction. Definitely pretty cool. Next up, we've got the gloves and boots for the Uproar set. So you can see here, it's kind of got, like, the finger bones uh, actually, like, painted on. I think that's kind of neat. Looks really good. Fits the set quite well. And, uh, yeah, you've got all those little colors from it. Nice little red line right there, and the uh, tan and black. And then same thing with the boots down here. You've got a nice little red line to kind of go with it, but it's not overtaking. you still got a lot of the earth tone colors. And, uh, yeah, some pretty nice looking, like, steel toe kind of boots. Very cool. Next up, we've got continuation in the camouflage set with the metal chest piece and uh, face mask and... It adds udders, and if that wasn't enough udders, you've got this thing that also has udders. I, I don't know why there's, like, a dog tag with udders, but you know what? Why not? On the back here, you've got lots of little cow spots, and with the face mask, it has this nice kind of, like, fabric look to it. Like, in between the metal, they kind of sewed this nice little fabric, and uh, it's just really funny looking. I, I gotta say, I love it. And uh, I know some people just don't like this set, but it's goofy, and I mean, Rust is one of the only few games you'll see someone running around uh, dressed up as a dude wearing armor made to look like a cow. So, you know, hey, you gotta love that. Next, we have a really epic set here, and uh, I just love how much this looks like a beer-curing barrel. Uh, UAD did an amazing job. I just love the wood on this, and it just says beer, and you've got the little cork there. Same thing, there's a big old cork on the mask. It's the whole thing together is just a really, really cool idea. And the textures are just very, very crisp. The whole thing is just all together a really nice set. I would pick this one up in a second for sure. Next up, we've got our deployables. So starting up, we've got this really cool barrel sleeping bag. I think this one is really awesome. It is from Johnny, and yeah, it just kind of looks like it's made out of materials of the barrel and put together with, like, metal rings and everything. It, the whole thing's just crazy looking. You got a little cardboard pillow. At least that might be comfortable. Uh, but it's very rusty looking, and I love just the detail to it. Then we've got this epic box right here. It is the Necronom, the Necronom box. <laughs> and uh, yeah, it's got teeth and chains and eyes. This whole thing is super creepy. I love the look of it. And uh, it definitely does glow. So we'll be sure to show that here shortly. Next, we've got two rugs for you, starting with a shippy rug. And it's got a little air balloon, some seagulls, of course, the shippy ship. And uh, it looks like it's just sailing out of port with the Rust Lighthouse right there. It's definitely a cool little rug. has some dirt and grime on it, so it's not exactly pristine, which fits into Rust quite nicely. 
And then over here, we've got this really cool cave drawing rug. It is the Caveman Rug by Anathan, and uh, yeah, definitely very cool looking. I love the look of this. This could make a cool little banner to hang on your wall for sure. Then moving on, we've got quite a few doors for you, starting with some sheet metal ones. This one is the Castle Keeper Door by Jessen. And uh, yeah, that, that's a pretty scary looking thing to keep a castle. And uh, I really like the wood in between behind the metal. I think that looks really good. It's definitely a very fancy looking door with some really awesome materials on it. Next, we've got this one, which I really, really like. It's This door is just absolutely cool. It is the excitement door, and it's got little R's for rust. It's got the face mask and everything, and I just really love the creativity in this one. I think it's an awesome looking door, and uh, yeah, I just absolutely love it. Then over here, we've got a continuation in the Molten Visage set. This is the sheet metal door. Previously, we had an armored one in a box, I believe. So yeah, this is definitely a nice little continuation in the set for sure. Then over here, we've got a new garage door for you. This is the fluorescent garage door. And uh, of course, there is a glowing version, which is the one we're gonna show you. But you can see it's got this beautiful fluorescent paint look to it. Definitely a very cool looking design. And then over here, we've got something else completely different. Who would have thought made a garage door out of dominoes? Well, Diva Dan did, and I think it turned out pretty epically. I have to say, this is definitely an awesome looking garage door. Then over here, speaking of epic, we've got a very, very nice armored single door by Corvo. It is the Atlantis door, and it's just absolutely beautiful. You got these seahorses and uh, just all these nice, sea, just kind of like uh, uh, Bioshocky colors. And there you go. Of course, the hatch can toggle. And then we'll take a look at both sides here. There you go. And then lastly, we've got a double armor door for you. It is the Shogun double armor door. And uh, yeah, this one's just really nice. I missed it last week, so make sure to show it this week. And whoop, where'd we get a hammer from? <laughs> and uh, yeah, just wanted to go ahead and show. It does have two different sides, it looks like. Yep, the design is just a little bit different. So that's definitely very cool right there. All right, so here's everything at night, and one cool little feature with this sleeping bag is it has a built-in, like, space heater, which I thought is really cool, and that emits a nice little glowing light. It's just an extra little feature you wouldn't have expected, and I think it's quite cool. However, it will make your sleeping bag very, very easy to find, which will be cool in the base, but outside, not so much. Then let's go ahead and take a look at the various eyeballs on the box over here, staring off at you. There's that one. And then we can run all the way down here. And it looks like it doesn't glow on the uh, one car door, I thought. But there's the Molten Visage. And this epic garage door. I just love the glow on it. I think it's absolutely beautiful. All right, so let's go ahead and move on to everything else. We've got some tools for you, starting with a continuation in the Night Farmer's set from Firefly. We've got a hammer to match with it. It's made out of that same kind of moon rock material and it's got a uh, crescent moon on there. Then we've got a new tool set for you and this one is quite cool. It is the Pyralized Stone by Anubis Dark. And you can see it's just kind of got this beautiful kind of little golden plus uh, maybe a little kind of like a lava-y glow on it. it. Looks like it's made out of charred wood. And of course the pickaxe matches quite nicely. Then we've got a hatchet and pickaxe for you. This is the Norse set by Batrip. We've got the hatchet here. And of course, with every hatchet, you've got to have your matching pickaxe. Definitely a very cool set. And uh, with, you know, Assassin's Creed Valhalla, not too bad timing there. Then we've got a bow for you. This is another one I happened to miss last week, but it's definitely very epic, so I want to make sure to show it to you guys. It's got the different little designs on it. It's got kind of like a lot going on, a lot of gold. It's definitely kind of fancy looking, and uh, I really like the look of that for sure. And this is called the Seafarer Bow by White. Get one more alt look at it there. 
Next up, we've got a Revy for you, and this one's brought to us by Teddy. It's inspired by uh, a little bit of Fallout, I believe, and this is the Revolver Tribalistic. So aiming down the sights here, there's not a whole lot going on. The real design is on the side of it. And yeah, this is just something that kind of fits into Rust. It has that apocalyptic look, and uh, I definitely dig it quite a bit. Moving on, we've got this cool little sap, and I just love the look of it. It's my special little alligator. And uh, yeah, it just looks like it's made of painted wood, and uh, I just love the look of it. It's absolutely cool, and this would make an awesome little sap to add whoop, into Rust. Next, we've got some stars for you. Aiming down the sides here, you can see there's this like beautiful kind of like hillside with the sun rising. And uh, on the side here, you've got all sorts of stuff going down. I think that airdrop has a face <laughs> and uh, the clouds and everything. It's just absolutely hilarious. I think there's a big sausage guy or something on the front there. I, I, I'm not even, I think that's a sausage. Not entirely sure. But anyways, this is the Dreamland SAR continuing with the Dreamland AK that we got last week. Next, we've got a really cool looking SAR here. This is the Hypno Wrap SAR. So we saw a pistol and now we've got it on here. And I think it looks really good. It translates nicely onto the SAR. And that little color change that you get is quite cool with that pearlescent effect. Definitely a neat looking SAR for sure. Oop, moving on, we've got a couple AKs for you. Starting with this cool Pyromaniac AK brought to us by Taylor. Aim down the sides, it's actually quite bland. I wish there was a little bit of something going on there. But on the side, I really like the flames and everything. I think it's quite cool. And then we've got these checkered pattern um, on there, which is very different. I don't think I've ever seen that with an AK. And I think that's really cool. It's uh, definitely a neat little addition there. Then we've got another AK for you, which is on the complete opposite spectrum. It's bright colors and craziness. It's the Zombie Rising AK by Andy Boo. Aiming down the sights here, we've got uh, that Rock On by a zombie. And then uh, over here, we've got a couple different zombies going on. It's definitely a crazy looking AK. I could see a lot of people getting behind this and I can see a lot of people really hating the rainbow colors. Our last batch here, we've got another AK for you. This one is going with the theme of dominoes as well. I, I don't know if I missed something about dominoes, but hey, uh, we got a couple of dominoes things as we, I think M Demon did a good job, but it's got a very fancy look to it. You can see like a little domino there uh, where the stock would be. And yeah, it just kind of has this fancy look with some dominoes kind of like engraved into it or carved out into it. And it's uh, definitely very different from a lot of AKs we've seen. Next, we've got a remake of the Balti from a very popular collection. This is the Phantom Balti version 2. Aiming down the sides here, you've got kind of like a little fancy symbol. And then, of course, you've got all the colors that the Phantom Collection is known for. I think it's a nice redo. It does look a little bit dark, but I, I, I don't know if that's just the lighting being weird with the Balti model. But I, we can spin completely around, and when it flips, it hits the light right. But otherwise, it looks a little weird. I'm not, I'm not sure about that. I think that might just be something with the game. Next, we've got a couple LRs for you, starting with this Monster LR. Everyone loves the monster set by Odyssey, and this LR is absolutely crisp. I love the look of it. It's got just this great little monster graffiti on it. I would pick this one up in a second, and I think a lot of people would too. But my favorite part is aiming down the sight. The sight kind of has these purple rings with the blue, which looks really cool, but what you gotta love is a one-eyed monster, and he has a tongue coming out of him. I think the creativity on this is just absolutely amazing. Next, we've got a, another fiery weapon for you. This is a very cool looking LR, the Ignition LR by Devsky. And uh, aiming down the sight here, you've got a flame, but it's not colored in. It's got this light kind of orange hue, and I really like that. It's, it's very different. Then you've got this very bright orangey red kind of sight, uh, which is quite nice. And then the tip of the sight is actually black, which is different. But that contrast definitely helps you focus, I feel. And then the side of it's really where everything's going on. It's just got this really nice texture to it with some really cool flames on the side. Next, we've got another LR for you. I said there was a, quite a few, and uh, they're all really great. So, you know, lots of great stuff. This is the Battle Worn Cherokote LR. I, I believe I'm saying that right. 
And yeah, it's just got this really, really cool look to it. I mean, down the sides here, there's not too much going on, but you've got a little green painted. It looks like glow sides, but of course it's not. But it's painted on there, which is cool. And you've got the little elk or deer. It's definitely a very kind of uh, worn down but clean cut looking skin. I, I definitely dig that for sure. Fits Ross quite well. And then lastly, we've got a very colorful LR for you. This is the Sticker Lover LR by Sensei. And uh, yeah, aiming down the side here, you got a little peace symbol, and then you've got a pinkish uh, magenta kind of painted sight. And then all over, you got all sorts of crazy stickers going on, and drawings, and little sketches, and stuff like that. Definitely a cool looking LR for sure. But uh, that's going to do it, guys. I uh, believe we have a couple things that glow, so I'm going to go ahead and get those ready, show them to you, and uh, we'll uh, call the video there. All right, guys. So as I said, we do have a couple things that glow. So we've got that moon rock glow going on right here. And then also, as I suspected, the pyrolite weapons do glow as well. Uh, do make sure, guys, uh, if you're a artist, I know uh, you need to put glow in the name of the weapon or tool or whatever skin if it does glow. So just a little side note there. And then here's the pickaxe. Boom. All right, well guys, that does it. Thanks for watching. We'll show you on Thursday which skins make it in. Thanks for watching, and I hope you all have a great week coming up.